Don't forget to follow us on our brand new Facebook page as Google Plus will be shutting down shortly. Now today I want to cover very quickly um, workflows in PowerShell. So let's look at the first one. We create a workflow and we've got a simple write output. So if we go and run the workflow, you'll see we get a hola world. So what I want to cover is the different ways which this might work when you start embedding um, into workflows subscripts. So as an example, if you want to run, let's say, a function inside of a workflow, you might need to create an inline script. So if we do a inline script run with pretty much the same, we find that there isn't the returned output. So in order to get the output from our text string here, we first need to get it into the inline script because the problem is the inline script actually runs as a separate session. So we need to take it from the first session where it's at the top here and using the use variable, push it into the inline script so that it can actually be run. So that's how we get a function from the top and down to the bottom. Well, when I say function, whatever it means, variable. So the next part of this is how we can start to run that differently. And by differently, I mean, let's say we want to get it from the lower part back up. So in this case, we have the text string inside of our inline script, and we want to get it to output higher up or later on in our workflow. So in this case, we can go ahead and just run this and we'll see what the output might be but it's not going to generate anything so in this case if we want to get it up we're going to do the return we're going to put it into our text string at a higher level and then we should be able to get the output telling us where it ran from so in this case you can see it ran from our inline script now if you can remember where your session is running from you've got the general principle okay now, don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video, and as always, subscribe for more content.